are we into or not into what I have affectionately been calling the spit (laughs) or the don't worry, darling press tour drama? I was just on a famed website, twitter.com, where I read a tweet (laughs) from one Miss Rebecca Alter that said, the spit, the slap, this year's new cycle better buy me breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a lot. For those who have no idea what we're talking about, let me explain the latest as of this Tuesday, September 6th taping. Let's begin with the casting of this erotic thriller called Don't Worry, Darling. Shia LaBeouf and Florence Pugh were set to star in this movie, and Olivia Wilde was set to direct. But once allegations of Shia being abusive to his ex, FKA Twigs, surfaced, Florence Pugh said, I don't want to work with him. And then Olivia Wilde said later to Variety that she fired LaBeouf from Don't Worry, Darling, because, quote, his process wasn't conducive to the ethos I demand in my productions. She also said, I have a no a-holes policy. But later, Shia LaBeouf said he actually left the film on his own volition. He even shared a video where Olivia seemed to take his side and criticize Florence. Crazy. And so all that's happening, and then it comes time for the Venice Film Festival, where all of the stars of this film are supposed to go promote it. Um, Florence seems to be avoiding all press for the film, even getting to the Venice Film Festival late to avoid interviews. And then Chris Pine looks like he's been in distress sitting next to Harry Styles during all these interviews and junkets. And the icing on the cake happened, I want to say, September 5th. There's an image and a short video online that seems to show, at least some believe, Harry Styles going to take his seat next to Chris Pine, but quietly spitting in Chris Pine's lap as he sits down. Do y'all think that's real? No, I don't. That just doesn't seem like Harry Styles to me. Not on purpose. Uh, Like, He's just wait, 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 not on oh purpose. Oh my god, it was so deliberate. You think? <laughs> I think he spat, but like he held himself back from spitting an actual, from hawking an actual loogie. But I think he did it as like a symbol of disrespect. Like think of like a one hundred year old Greek woman like pretend spitting at you. That's like the biggest disrespect, and I think that's kind of what he was doing there. Harry Styles, the old Greek maid. (laughs) I can't imagine Harry doing that because he has a real image to cultivate. But let me tell you something. None of their previous histories matter. When you are locked up in the vortex of crazy film behind the scenes drama, everyone's going to surprise you. Something about this movie, something about this combo of people, none of them are actually acting professional. Even Chris Pine, who I love, he is going around purposely looking dead in the eyes (laughs) at every event for this film. All of them are being a little bit petty. All of them have lost their minds. You really think it was like a true, I spit on you disrespect? Yeah, I think Harry Styles is a real emperor has no clothes situation for me, where I think the rest of the world is beguiled by something that doesn't have a lot of there there. I think he's very cute and he dresses very nice. And I think that's sort of the extent of what's going on. So I don't put it past him. I like the music. I just feel like... I need petty celebrity drama. It gives me strength, and I want all celebrities to occasionally do this. I think that the spit is white Hollywood's answer to the slap, and I'm all for the diversity. (laughs) Let's open it up. It gives me sustenance. It gives me life. I just, oh, chef's kiss. I am more into this than I ever thought I would be. I love it, love it, love it. So you both are into the drama. Absolutely. Into the drama. I will give you both a point for that one. I think I'm going to have to declare this a tie. You both win. Does this mean we each get a quarter of a bottle of Bruno Mars rum? (laughs) Congratulations to you both. Congratulations to Petty Celebrity Drama. Let's circle back here once the Taco Bell musical is out, okay? We all better have front row seats. 